What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Bubba John. Today, I'm going to do my WWE SmackDown Live full, full review and results video. So, you guys new network me the right way. Hit that like button and let's get started. Now, SmackDown Live was just absolutely terrible the way I see it. You know what I'm saying? SmackDown Live is terrible. And, um, and I'm going to get to re um, the review. So, let's get started. Um, WWE SmackDown Live kicks off with a clip of last week's show where Kevin Owens went after Shane McMahon. I'm glad um, um, Kevin Owens went after Shane McMahon. So that was the funniest. That, that was the funny part. All right, it cuts to earlier today where Shane was was seen talking with security and came Kevin Owens and Shane told him that there will be a town hall where people will be able to to voice their con conscience, Shane tells him that he has the right, has the night off and he is no longer allowed in the building. That was a joke. Are you serious? Really, really, Shane McMahon, you was gonna say that something like that? Then why did Kevin Owens? Why Kevin Owens get back in the building and he stunned you twice? He stunned you twice, twice in one night on SmackDown Live. All right, SmackDown Live Townhouse. <laughs> this is a joke. Smackdown Live Townhouse. Are you kidding me? But let me continue. Um, live in the arena, the Smackdown Live roster is on stage while Shane is in the ring. We see clips of Extreme Rules where Shane McMahon and Drew McIntyre lost the lost to the Undertaker and Roman Reigns. Shane says that Kevin Owens has the night off, but Owens did give him an idea, and that was. To hold the first ever SmackDown Live Townhouse, uh, Town Hall. I'm sorry, I said Townhouse. I mean SmackDown Live Town Hall. I correct myself on that one. He asked who will who would like to go first up, step Roman Reigns to the microphone. Roman Reigns says no one in in the room respects Shane, and and as fair as though member see Shane can kiss his you know what as Roman Reigns goes backstage. Shane says that that's not respectful. He will be fine and he'll deal with him later. Shane asks someone else. Charlotte Flair steps up and and says that was uncalled for. She says from the family to another. Thank you. She thanks the McMahon family for being nothing but a genuine to her to her seeing the day she answers answers born in it. Makes her sick to her stomach that Kevin Owens would, would take advantage of her kindness. Alright. Liv Morgan cuts off, cuts her off and tells her to stop being such a pony. She asks Charlotte if, if there is any real about her. Charlotte asks her who she is and she is, if she even works here. Morgan says it because of the of people like Charlotte that people like her don't get an opportunity. Up steps Shane who cuts them off. He asks Buddy Murphy to speak. Um, okay, that was a good one. Buddy Murphy says Kevin mentioned his name last week. He doesn't need Owens to fight his battles, and maybe Kevin should keep his name out of his mouth, or else he will slap it out of his mouth. Shane was happy to hear that and and says there they act they talk about it after. Shane asks Apollo Cruz to talk. Apollo Apollo says he has something to say. He says nobody in, in, includes himself agrees with what Kevin Owens said last week. Selena Vega and Adriana step up. Selena says that she doesn't appreciate that. Apollo is trying to kiss up the WWE Universe. Selena asks Apollo to prove his worth in the ring tonight with Adrani. And that and with that, Adrani calls him out in Spanish. Which is don't care. Elias steps up, steps in and says hello. I am not Kevin Owens. I am Elias. Xavier Woods cuts him off, along with Big E. They saw Elias. Kev, I mean, Kofi says he doesn't like Kevin Owens, but he is making some good points. Kofi asks how long did it take for him to get a shot at the WWE title? Too long. And anyone on the stage has the potential to do good things, and his microphone is cut off. Shane says this is the WWE champion, 
and he apologized for the microphone going off. Shane thanks everyone, and the first ever town hall is now concluded. This is a, this is a joke. Are you kidding me? This is a joke. Cesaro steps in and says he has something to say. Shane had Shane says he's on Raw, not SmackDown. Cesaro says he would. As, Cesaro says, as a wild card, he is here to challenge Alistair Black to pick up a fight with him. Um, Shane asks if he wants to. If he wants to that that tonight, and Cesaro says yes. Shane says he is, he has his wish. Shane says Shane says he's hope he's demonstrate demon de demonstrates a few things. In comes Kevin Owens from behind, who botches a stunner. Owens mocks Shane and dancing, dancing and leaving the ring through the crowd. Okay, that segment was good and funny at the same time. We get to, back to commercial break. We get Cesaro versus Alistair Black. We seen this match at Extreme Rules. Why are we getting this match again tonight? The bell rings and underway, under underway a night a right hand to Black, but a knee to the stomach by Cesaro. A knee to the stomach by Black as Cesaro falls to the outside. Black runs to the second ropes and flips back and sits down in the ring. Back to commercial break. Back back from the commercial break, Cesaro, ha Cesaro has the headlock, but Black gets out of it. A leg sweep by a leg sweep by Black. A moonsault off the second rope by Alistair Black as he goes for the cover, but a two count only. Uh, back back runs towards Cesaro, but Cesaro moves out of the way and uppercuts by Cesaro, following a big boot. He goes for the cover, but Black kicks out of, kicks out as Cesaro transitions into a cross space. Um, Alistair Black reverses into a pin. Cesaro runs towards Black, but hits the post as flying knee by by Black and Cesaro. Alistair Black hits him with the black mask. He goes for the cover and gets the pin. The winner of the match, Alistair Black. So this match was, we even though we've seen this at Stream Rules, now we've seen this on SmackDown Live, um, it was, you know, decent. That's just my opinion. All right. Dolph Ziggler is backstage with Shane, with Shane. He tells Shane someone should teach Kevin a lesson, and it should be him tonight. Shane says Kevin Owens has likely left the building. Ziggler says he could make it happen. Shane tells Ziggler if he can make it happen, that the, the match is on. Then we see Liv Morgan versus Charlotte Flair, which is I don't really care about. Then all of a sudden, uh, the bell rings, and we underway. Charlotte pushes Morgan down. Liv gets back up and goes at, and, and goes after Flair with a right hand. A hurricanrana by Morgan. Follow up, followed by a drop kick as Charlotte backs into the corner. Morgan grabs Charlotte from the, from behind, but elbows elbows to her elbows the face by Flair. Mor with Morgan on the second rope, Flair chokes her. Morgan gets back up and chops the chest by Flair. She lifts lifts Morgan up, but Liv lands on her feet and. And hits her with a step up in security. She stomps on the black, the steps on the back of the flare's neck. She goes after the cover, but a kick out. Liv jumps into flare, but flare catches her and lands a power bomb. Flare with a with a figure four leg, figure four and, and into the figure eight as Liv Morgan taps out. The window of the match, Charlotte Flair. After the match, Liv grabs a grabs Corey's headset and she says, Charlotte was right, and when I come back, I'm going to be I'm going to be real. As she slams the headset and leaves. And uh, what else happened here? Outside the arena, Dolph is talking to the referee and takes the number of a cell of a cellular phone. Terrible segment, by the way. Manny Rose and Sonya Deville versus Emma Moore and Bailey. Okay. This match still didn't do nothing for me. This match did not do nothing for me. It says, the winner of the match, Amber Moon. All right, then we'll move on. The New Day Celebration. I don't really care about the New Day the Celebration. I don't want to um, 
I just don't care about the New Day celebration. Then, of course, we get a six-man tag team match. The New Day versus Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, and Elias. And the winner of the match... The winner, the winner of the match, we see what, what happened. The winner of the match, Randy Orton, Samoa Joe, and Elias. Why does Kofi, Kofi Kingston keep losing on SmackDown Live? He's the WWE champion. He just lost, and he just lost to Randy Orton. To Randy Orton, RKO, Randy, Randy Orton, RKO, Kofi Kingston, and and um, Randy Orton pinned Kofi Kingston in the middle of the ring. I think Kofi Kingston is gonna. I think. I think. Um. I'm not excited for SummerSlam after all. I'm not. But let me continue. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match, the Iconics versus the Kabuki Warriors with Paige. This match, this women's division, it just got awful. It just got awful. This match is garbage. This match is garbage. Of course, the Iconics win by countout. I already know. The 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 winners by count by count out the Kabuki Warriors, but it's still the. Um, the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, the Iconics, which they suck, by the way. The Iconics is worse. It's the worst Women's Tag Team Champions in WWE. I don't care what nobody say. Be mad. Uh, as your boy Chris says, um, you trigger mad, salty, upset. I just don't give a care. The Iconics, the Iconics is the worst WWE Women's Tag Team Champions in WWE history. Let me move on. A draw a name with Selena Vega versus Apollo Crews. We just seen this match, and Apollo Crews get the upset win. That's just my own opinion. Then after that, we go to a main event: Kevin Owens versus Dolph Ziggler. This match, this match was garbage too. This match was garbage, and we have no contest. So that's it. But let me get. But before I end my um my SmackDown Live review, before I, before I end the video, let me get my thoughts about it on SmackDown Live. SmackDown Live has been terrible. It's been terrible. That's just my own thoughts, my own opinion. You know what I'm saying? The women's division has got awful. The women's division has been got awful. Then we have to see Emma Moon. I mean, yeah, Emma Moon versus Bailey at SummerSlam for the for the SmackDown Live Women's Champion. Am I am I excited for that? Not really. I'm not excited for SummerSlam at all. Cause SummerSlam is gonna be the worst pay per view ever. SummerSlam is the worst pay per view ever. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm afraid of SummerSlam. You know what I'm saying? Um, at the SummerSlam, then we got I guess Survivor Series. I believe I don't know. I'm not too I'm not too sure about that. But I'm afraid of SummerSlam. That just my that's my opinion. But um, but SmackDown Live has been terrible. It's all about Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon has been getting more TV time than the superstars on the main roster. And everybody getting, and I'm getting real sick and tired of seeing Shane McMahon getting more TV time than the than the SmackDown Live roster. That is a slap in the face to the SmackDown Live main roster that they never get a chance to get an opportunity. But Buddy Murphy didn't get an opportunity. He didn't wrestle tonight on SmackDown Live. He didn't. So it was all about Shane McMahon getting more TV time than the main roster, and that's facts by itself. But if you guys enjoy my WWE SmackDown Live full. For a review and result and results video, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys think. What you guys think of SmackDown Live? And I'm not excited for some slam either. This your boy Big Boy John Two Five KFG family. Have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow on my NXT full results and review. Talk to you guys later.